myself, Professor Pawar B.K. from Department of Geography, JET Art Science and Commerce College for Women, Malegao. On behalf of this video presentation, I welcome you all. Number four is to achieve effective coordination of policy and implementation among various departments to promote child development. Number five, to enhance the capability of the mother to look after the health and nutritional needs of the child through proper health and nutrition education. The skin covers a package of a supplementary nutrition, B immunization, C health checkup, D referral services, E preschool non-formal education, F nutrition and health education. Many of these schemes are executed through Nganwadi. By December 2004, about 371.11 lakh children and 75.24 lakh women have been benefited. Now, number two, creatures, daycare centers for children and working and ailing mothers. The scheme was launched in 1975 under National Policy of Children adopted in 1974. The scheme aims to provide daycare services to children up to 0 to 5 years of parents whose monthly income is below Rs. 1800 per month and to incapacitated mothers. The services provided under the scheme include sleeping and day care facilities, supplementary nutrition, immunization, medicines and reactions. Central Social Welfare Board takes care of these schemes supporting 12,400 centi creatures covering 3.11 lakh children. Number third, Balika Samriddhi Yojana in started in 1997 with a special role objective to encourage the enrollment and retention of girl child in the schools. Also, it provides financial assistance to poor family for educating girls. Now, you see, what's the operation of UNICEF? UNICEF programs related with these programs are being implemented in India through Master Plan of Operations, that is MPO. MPO of 2003-2007 is currently in operation. The MPO, that is Master Plan of Operations, has following objectives. First objective is to empower families and communities with appropriate knowledge and skills to care and protection of children. Second, to expand partnership as a way to leverage resources for children and scale up interventions and number third to strengthen the evaluation and knowledge base of best practices in children now we'll see the unit or the fact there is the ban on child labor india has over 1.2 crore child labors below the age of 14 and it is globally listed as worst exploiters. India has enacted Child Labor Protection Act 1986 from October 10, 2006. In new provision in the Act makes it mandatory for the government to rescue children from homes and restaurants and produce them before the Child Welfare Committee before they are sent to shelters. However, Labor Department has stated directly that we are not likely to go into an overdrive and rescue more children unless we can accommodate them safely. According to Child Labor Protection Act 1986, the offenders will be penalized. The punishment is imprisonment from the months to one year for a fine up to rupees 20,000 or both. Now, every year, 12th June is celebrated as Anti-Child Labor Day. UNICEF contributes towards reduction in infant and maternal mortality, improvements in the level of child nutrition, ensuring universally elementary education, enchanting child protection, protection of children and adolescents from HIV or AIDS. The UNICEF has allocated an amount of 14 million US dollars for India for the period from 
2003 to 2007 now you see the next subunit that is the national commission for children the commission is a statutory body with a bill title commissions for protection of child rights bill 